OCR Flux is a lightweight multi-model large language model based toolkit for converting PDFs and images into clean readable plain markdown text. So this is a new OCR system. So what it can do is that it can do cross page table paragraph merging. What does this mean? So if you look at their blog, what they say over here is that st in standard PDFs, you have tables which are split across pages. So it makes OCR systems ability to reconstruct them accurately difficult, right? Whereas OCR Flux excels by automatically detecting and merging fragmented table elements and matching its headers. Therefore, the output is seamless and accurate. So it is very good in parsing, you know, multi-page documents, basically cross-page paragraphs, tables merging. It can do that. Uh, for example, you have tables with numerous columns which are often split vertically across multiple pages, creating challenges in understanding and accurately reconnecting the logically related segments. OCR Flux addresses this issue effectively with its advanced cross-page uh, table merging ability. You have table header re uh, repetition which can cause misinterpretation. So this is also solved over here. Multi-line cell splitting. So cells with extensive contents may extend across multiple pages, creating challenges in properly merging these fragmented lines. So OCR Flux effectively ensures that complete accurate cell content is preserved in the final output. So they have some examples over here where they talk about a table which is spanning across three pages. And you know, when it is merged, how does it look like? Right? Table vertical splitting. They have examples over here. So you know, this is your input uh, document. If you see over here, the table is split across two uh, in the same uh, across this page over here and it is kind of merged over here okay so that is what they are saying over here right uh, table header rep uh, repetition is also kind of solved over here that's what they show over here so the headers if you see um, this page to next page it is kind of repeated over here so that is kind of merged and you get a single big table right then they talk about multi-line cells splitting so for example if you see this cell is getting split over here in the next page it's kind of merged over here in the output okay so then about single page parsing what they are saying is that uh, it has superior quality all right on single page it can column span tables and merge itself it can take care of it multi column layouts it can take care of it multi table it can take off multilingual uh, you know content in the same page now this particular model they claim is having better performance than other systems like Nanonet's OCRS, which is also a lightweight OCR on which I've created a video, which also does similar thing of converting text to markdown. Okay. Uh, it is better than monkey OCR. It is better than Olm OCR, which is another open uh, weights OCR model. So this uh, model is actually open source. Okay. They claim an Apache 2.0 license over here. You can actually try out this particular model. So they have this demo page where you can upload a PDF. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload this particular PDF right uh, you know uh, google's financial results uh, this particular pdf i'm going to upload this document and let's see how well it does parsing on this particular pdf document so after uploading it does really fast it's kind it is actually parsing now right so let's wait for the results so it's finished parsing over here right so if you see this is the text column uh, the text which is present over here not at columns but the text rows so it is actually parsing it well and here are your tables right so this is the first table so if you see over here this table is converted and marked down in this nice format over here quite accurately right then let's go to the next page where we have this table which is also being you know done properly over here right then you have the segment operating results the next table uh, which is captured properly and then you have the rest of the information which is captured properly over here so this was one document on which I have tried the demo. So if you look at uh, their GitHub, so here they say how you can actually run this particular model, right? How you can do a local uh, installation and make use of it. So what I understand over here is that if you have a multi-page PDF document, it can generate the output for each PDF page, okay? In the form of say JSON files, or JSON uh, L files, okay. Then you have this JSON NL2 markdown.py, which kind of merges these JSON files and gives you the final markdown file, okay. So you can go over here and uh, check out how you can install this system locally and try it out. So this is an interesting new development. So we have one more open source OCR available for you to try out now against your documents. What I am seeing versus NanoNets is that NanoNets was able to even give the image tags but here it looks like you know they are saying that it can uh, read equations and other stuff but uh, you know 
convert text even in the presence of multi column layouts figures but figures are not really parsed over here okay which i see as an advantage for nanonets ocr but you can try out this particular ocr flux library and see if it is useful for your pdfs parsing of your pdfs to generate plain markdown text for further llm processing i hope this video is useful see you in another video i'll put all the relevant links in the description of the video to check it out I tried parsing this particular PDF document. It, uh, you know, in the demo, it is limited to three pages. If you look at over here, there is this image part, right? And there is text within this image. If I remember in Nanonet's OCR small, it used to pull that image in the text and put it in within image tags. But here, if you look at the output over here, uh, you know, you have this part of text equal contribution work done, and then you have this figure, but the text within the image over here is not parsed over here. I think this is a limitation over here of OCR flux, right? So what they've done over here is that they've fine tuned an uh, Quent 2.5 EL model. Okay. Uh, Quent 2.5 EL model. They've fine tuned it to improve its performance. That is what they are saying over here. So they have created some uh, benchmarks like OCR flux bench single, which contains 2000 PDF pages and their ground truth markdowns and they also have OCR flux uh, pub tab net single so derived from the pub tab net so for tabular samples okay so they have uh, you know these are benchmarks for single parsing which they are releasing and they also have uh, you know benchmark for cross table paragraph merging which they have created right uh, so which they call as OCR flux bench cross and OCR flux pub tab net cross and on both these benchmarks they claim their model performs better than any of these other competitors like ohm ocr nanonets ocr monkey ocr pushing the state of art so they have computed the edit distance similarity and they are saying that you know between the generated markdowns and ground truth markdowns uh, so this model achieves this system or this model achieves better performance that is what they claim over here right and the other thing is that this is a 3 billion parameter model vlm so it can even run on a gtx 390 gpu so if you look at uh, their github so here they say how you can actually run this particular model right how you can do a local uh, installation and make use of it so what i understand over here is that if you have a multi-page pdf document it can generate the output for each pdf page okay in the form of say json files or json uh, l files okay then you have this json nl2 markdown.py which kind of merges these json files and gives you the final markdown file okay so you can go over here and uh, check out how you can install this system locally and try it out so this is an interesting new development so we have one more open source ocr available for you to try out now against your documents what i am seeing versus nanonets is that nanonets was able to even give the image tags but here it looks like you know they are saying that it can uh, read equations and other stuff but uh, you know convert text even in the presence of multi-column layouts figures but figures are not really parsed over here okay which i see as an advantage for nanonets ocr but you can try out this particular ocr flux library and see if it is useful for your pdfs parsing of your pdfs to generate plain markdown text for further llm processing i hope this video is useful see you in another video i'll put all the relevant links in the description of the video to check it out